Hi, my name is Gwen Foster. I was just reminded about a great book that I used for my own self-healing like 25 years ago, and I haven't actually used it in a long time um, because I've learned most of the protocols in here or have a lot of things in my mind. I do things a little bit differently now, but this book is like in every Whole Foods in America. You go into Whole Foods and they have a copy of this book. It's kind of their reference guide. So if you walk in and you have hepatitis, they go to the page on hepatitis and they say, oh, these are all the things that might be useful. Um, I'm working on a research project right now and this book kind of came back up. And then as I was flipping through it, I was like, Oh my God, this is such a great book. I just could, kind of forgot. But it's called Prescription for Nutritional Healing. It's by James Balch and Phillips Balch, I guess, husband and wife. And it says a comprehensive and up-to-date self-help guide. And I would really recommend it um, if you're on a path of self-healing because it was one of the first things I did, like, you know, dealing with uh, lupus, acid reflux, fibromyalgia. You know, I'd go to the page, and this is honestly when I knew nothing. I didn't know what to do. What I think makes their book unique and makes it worth the purchase because it's still relevant today is that it not only lists, like I'll, I'll just mention hepatitis as an example, um, it, it not only mentions all the nutrients that you should consider using for hepatitis, but it also has the suggested dosage and some comments on you know, when to use it, when not to use it, things like that. But it also includes herbal recommendations food and drink recommendations, what to avoid in your diet recommendations, and then some like random things like putting a warm castor oil pack over the liver area. And I think that um, it's so well done because I think the big question that people always ask me is what to take and how much, you know, and there's not very many reference books out there that actually have recommended dosages or when to take the products and things like that. And that's the one thing that this product this book really does a good job at so it i don't know how many conditions in here it seems like it's probably 70 or 80 but the good news is it's very very specific so for your more common conditions it may not be have some rare autoimmune disease in here but it's going to have most of your common ailments and things related to the liver the kidneys things to consider you know like i said dietary changes and if you just want to try to learn more I think self-help is so important. I mean, I love working with people and giving them recommendations, but I really encourage people to do their own research. Try to find out, you know, what could help you, you know, try to make changes in your life that are going to guide you into permanent changes. You know, it's just like a diet never works unless you maintain that, you know, those habits. And just like with this, you know, for me, if I'm, I eat a lot of vegetables, I eat like at least six cups a day plus juicing plus other stuff if i don't do that and if i were to be really acidic and just binge on mexican food italian food wine margaritas i can go right back where i was i'm not saying that i'm comp completely healed forever i know how to go back like if i just go binge i don't really do that but if i did i could get my hands to hurt again i could feel stiff when i wake up in the morning i could feel tired i just choose not to do that to me it's not worth it over cheese and gelatas or over the bread basket you know i'm okay just like giving that up but the good thing about this book is it gives you a good starting point like if if you want to try to do things yourself which i always think you know you, when people deal with their own health issues research and investigate they're they're very knowledgeable. I have some moms of autistic kids and I promise you know more about autism nutritionally and dietarily than any doctor in Houston. I promise you. Because by the time they investigate what works and what helps their child, they're more informed than anybody, you know, about their child, their family. So I'm just going to say I really encourage you to go find answers. There's lots of reference books out there. Um, on homeopathy, on herbology, on nutrition, on many, many things. But th this is the one I started with. This was actually what got me, this and the blood type diet is what got me back on track with my life and my health. And I just wanted to just mention it and give it a plug because it's, it's still relevant. And I, I still think that most health food stores still carry this book and they also use it so that when you're in that little nutrition supplement department, which is not really too little in Whole Foods, it's quite large, um, and those people are very knowledgeable. You know, you can ask questions. So if you don't have a naturopath that you can go to, um, that's at least a good place to start. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.